Over the past few years, the administrations in the Philippines have acknowledged the importance of infrastructure development. Their methods and attitudes to investing, however, have differed greatly. In spite of its fast urbanization, population growth, and economy, the Philippines is not as developed in terms of infrastructure as its Asian competitors. Seeing this disparity, the prison administration has made infrastructure development a top priority since they believe it is a key factor in economic growth. The administration unveiled the bold Build, Build, Build BBB program in 2017 with the goal of increasing infrastructure spending from 5.1% of GDP in 2016 to 7.4% of GDP by 2022. This dedication was demonstrated by the extraordinary 50% increase in infrastructure investment to an estimated 728 billion Philippine pesos between January and November 2018 compared to the 486.5 billion pesos spent the previous year. Now let's look into some of the ongoing mega-projects in the Philippines. 7. Metro Manila Subway Metro Manila Subway is a 33-on-kilometer-long subway being constructed in Metro Manila, Philippines, from Valenzuela to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Naya, connecting 17 stations and a depot. It will be the first mass underground transport system in the Philippines. It has a design capacity to accommodate 1.5 million passengers a day and is expected to serve 400 passengers to as many as 800 passengers in a day. The project was proposed by the Department of Transportation, DOTR, and approved by the National Economic Development Authority's Investment Coordination Committee, NEDAICC. The subway is part of the Duterte administration's Build, Build, Build program. Groundbreaking for the Manila subway project was held in Valenzuela City in February 2019. Phase 1 is expected to be completed by 2025. The entire Metro Manila subway project, MSP, is set to be completed by July 2027. In December 2020, Department of Transportation partnered with the Department of National Defense Armed Forces of the Philippines, Dean and DAFP, to receive a right off way for the project. MSP will use 50 square meters of DND AFP land.
expected to be supported by Chinese development assistance, face delays and uncertainties, with an awaited decision from the Chinese government by December. Despite challenges, a segment between San Vision's three long span bridges, offering alternatives like submerged floating tunnels and deep sea tunnels. Currently, the San Bernardino Strait, spanning 28 kilometers, is serviced by roll on, roll off ferries. With the influx of travelers transiting in the airport, the completion of these development projects are expected to allow the airport to serve and accommodate more passengers at a given time. 2. North Luzon East Express Philippine environmental laws. The integration of the wetlands and roadways in the project shall have favorable impact on the environment while producing 10 2 million cubic meters to the La Mesa Reservoir. The system developed and used.
Manila Railway Project CMRP, will link Clark International Airport to Metro Manila and expand to the Ilocos, Cagayan Valley, and Baikal regions. Designed for both passenger and freight services, the SCRP will enhance connectivity for areas like Subic Bay Freeport Zone. SPFZ drawing praise from SBMA's Wilma T. Isma for its economic potential. BAT and Governor Albert S. Garcia highlights the project's significance for Region IU's growth and hopes for timely completion post-pandemic. The P45 billion EPCC contract was awarded to China Harbor Engineering Company, CHEC, with the project's completion rescheduled to Q4 2024. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments section what mega project to do next. Meanwhile, don't forget to like and subscribe.